们好。In today's class, we covered ways of cooking, and one of the principles that's really important to us is for material to come from the students themselves and to be related to the students' own likes and dislikes and their own lives. So, after we had gone through a phase where the students got to know the names of the various ways of cooking, we left it to the students to combine the ways of cooking with the names of foods that they learned yesterday to come up with things that they like or just new and strange things. So they might do something very typical like steamed rice or they might do something very unusual like deep fried strawberries. Rice and strawberries were foods that the students came up with themselves yesterday. Essentially we asked the students which foods they wanted to learn about and then we translated those into Chinese and gave them a mini dictionary of foods. And today, we asked the students, in what way would you like to cook those foods that you, that you gave us yesterday? So in every instance, our starting point is the student. We want the student to be at the center. Jia shu tiao. Jia shu tiao. We did an activity where students decided which foods they themselves liked, which are cooked in six different ways, and then they had to find out from their partner which six foods their partner liked cooked in different ways. Uh, before doing an activity like this, it's good if the teacher, with other teachers if available, or with one of the more advanced students, can come to the front of the class and demonstrate, actually filling out the sheet and doing the interview so that the other students see exactly how the activity is done before you begin. The goals of the activities that we do in class are for students to be able to express one function. A function is something that you're trying to accomplish in life. For example, letting someone else know what your likes and dislikes are or where you live. So we always start out from the standpoint of getting something done using the language rather than mastering a certain language form. In our classrooms, we try to accomplish a cycle during every class period. That cycle involves, of course, warming up, and then an input phase where students are getting language. A controlled practice phase where the language that they've just gotten, they can practice it in a very controlled and contained way where their use of the forms is highly supported. For example, they might have a grid that's all filled in except for certain little pieces that they have to get. Then we try to go into a phase where they use the language in a more free uncontrolled and less supported way. And finally, we hope that in every class we assign, sorry, we design some kind of assessment so that we can see how the student is doing producing and understanding that language. One thing that I'm taking away from this camp that I definitely want to integrate more in my regular language classes is the idea that students get new language through a process of discovery and cognitive engagement with the meaning of the language. So rather than sending them home to memorize a bunch of vocabulary so that they're ready for class the next day, what I want to do is use the class time to lead them into new language, new meaning during the class and get them to puzzle out certain pieces of language use the language meaningfully for the first time that the students will hear it and come arrive at an understanding of the meaning through a storytelling process because I think that that really helps the students grab the language much better the first time they encounter it.